Hello everyone. This is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we're going to show you guys how to use arrays. So basically, an array is just a list of objects inside the same、uh, reference or variable. So, for example, here you can see that in our start method, we create a variable a. That refers to the dice object. Now, if I have a lot of dice, so what I'm trying to do now is play a greedy pig game with more than one die, and I don't really want to think of a different name for every single die. So what I'm going to do is instead of creating A single variable, a declaring a single variable. I'm going to make an array of dice objects. Okay, so、uh, basically, instead of saying dice a, I now have dice and then square brackets after the dice a equals new dice. And instead of the curly brackets, I put square brackets three, or two, or however many dice you want. But just keep in mind,、um, the first when you refer when you refer to the dice, the first one actually starts with the zero. But anyway, we'll get to that. So let's say I want two dice. So now, basically, what I have told the compiler is that I want an array variable full of、um, references to dice objects, but I haven't really created the dice objects. So what I then have to do is within each element of the array. So a, the first element of the array, I have to Um, create a new dice. Okay, and I have to do that for the second array, the second element in the array. But what's happening now is that even though there are two、um, elements. The first element actually is referred to with the index zero, and the second one is referred to with the element one. Okay, so that's how you、um, refer to each individual element in the dice object. Okay, now just to make sure that this code still works, what we're going to do is instead of a dot number, I'm going to put an a brace. Sorry, not brace.、Uh, square bracket zero, and then a square bracket zero. I'll just put those a square bracket zero. I'll just replace them with that, and just to make sure this code still runs because it should. Okay, so let's run this, and、uh, yep, it still runs perfectly. So now what I'm going to do. Is see here where it says number of games is two, right? So I'm gonna change this to one. Let's save it, run the game, and now it only plays the game once, and it's still working. And now what I want to do is play the game once, but with two dice, and it will roll the dice separately. But as soon as one of them Shows a two, then、uh, I'm going to stop playing the game. So I know this is going to turn pretty confusing in a second, but I guess it's just a test on your logical ability. So basically,、um, during each game, what's going to happen is that. Instead of just checking, instead of just、uh, 
instead of just rolling one die, we're going to roll both dice. So A bracket one dot roll. So we're rolling two dice. Okay, and then we're going to we're going to check inside the for loop whether each die has given a two. So let's do that in an if statement. So if a bracket zero dot number is equal to a two or so or is uh, given by two um, vertical lines and basically if you want this symbol to come up you have to press shift slash and this should show up or a bracket one dot number is equal to two so it's gonna check both things and if either of them is a two then we're going to break out of the while loop okay so now instead of specifying a condition here I'm just gonna put while true which means we're gonna keep rolling forever until either um, until either die comes up with a two then we're gonna break out of it so what I'm going to do is say system dot out dot print don't forget the capitals you have rolled a two on one uh, actually let's just say you have rolled a two game ended Okay, and uh, so we don't have to say this down here. And let's just try that. Okay, let's just try if this works. So I'm going to play a game. So actually, I need a, I need another one of these with a one instead of a zero okay so let's just play the game now see what happens okay so now here's a bit of a problem right because the problem is when it says I'm rolling all of these numbers I don't know which die it's talking about so rather than teaching you guys too many things at once, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dice object or class and I'm going to get rid of where it's printing the number, printing the statement. Let's get rid of that. Actually, let's cut it instead of getting rid of it. Control X, cut it. And then I'm go going to go back to the greedypig.java okay and instead of and I'm just gonna make it print that statement and then plus say on die number and then I'm just gonna put zero here obviously we can change all of this to variables later on okay um, oh, instead of number I need a bracket zero dot number and then I'm gonna copy that again a bracket one dot number on die number one okay and then run this game again and it should be quite clear okay oh 
put a little space bar here after the quotation marks and now it tells me you rolled a three on die number zero you rolled a two on die number one you rolled a two game ended right and I'm not going to deal with all of this other stuff right now so I'm gonna delete all that all, right, all I want to show you guys is how arrays work so I've achieved my goal here so if I run the game it tells me you have rolled a 2 game ended okay now if I want to play the game let's say twice or three times let's just see if it works um, so let's play the game three times save it run the game and let's just see if it plays the game three times so the first one I roll a five six three on row on dice zero dice zero dice zero is a two the third time I roll it and so the game has ended and I play the game three times with two dice and the third time the third game somehow I did really well Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on Arrays. See you guys next time.